Yo, what's going on, guys? Christy Flakes here. So recently, Devin Booker, D'Angelo Russell, and Carl Anthony Towns all did a photo shoot together. It was for like Team USA or something like that. And during that, uh, D'Lo actually had an interview when he went on the record to say that eventually in the NBA, he wants to play on a team with Cat and Devin Booker, man. Because, of course, all those guys are friends. And uh, that would be one hell of a super team. Because, like, of course, as right now, yeah, there are players better than all those guys. But at the same time, man... All three of those players are extremely young as they move closer to their prime. Like, if they decide to team up, that could be extremely dangerous out there. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a rebuild of those three guys on the Phoenix Suns. So I thought about this carefully, and uh, we are actually going to be starting in the 2022-2023 NBA season. Because as you guys know, it would not happen like right away. It would be a few years down the road. And I thought about like the perfect circumstance of how all three of these guys would end up on the team together. Uh, it wouldn't be the Golden State Warriors because they don't have enough assets assets because they're not going to trade away you know Steph Curry or Klay Thompson to get those guys and it's not going to be the Timberwolves because outside of Carl Anthony Towns who are they going to trade to get Devin Booker and also D'Angelo Russell so I came up with two trades with the uh, Golden State Warriors and the Minnesota Timberwolves to get both these guys on there and not to mention last year uh, there was actually some drama that went down because Carl Anthony Towns on his Instagram posted a picture of himself wearing a Phoenix Suns jersey. So it sounds like maybe he would actually want to play there. Uh, but these are the trades that I came up with, man. So this one with the Timberwolves, it was a trade of Kelly Oubre, Mikel Bridges, Cam Johnson, Dario Sarge, and two first-round picks um, in exchange for Carl Anthony Towns and, like, some other guys out there. So I know, like, this trade right here, maybe Timberwolves fans are saying, well, that's nothing out there, man. But, you know, you get all the draft picks, you get some really good young talent. Like, literally, you get four really good young players. Cam Johnson was a lottery pick. Mikel Bridges can be fantastic. So, I mean, I, I didn't think it was a bad trade, especially in the draft picks. You might even argue another first or second, uh, like another first round pick to be added in there. But I thought overall it was pretty good because let's be honest, man, you're not going to get equal value back for Carl Anthony Towns. If he requests a trade, you lose leverage with that. So, I mean, that's just kind of how it is, right? And then this trade, as you guys can see, um, I did a trade with the Golden State Warriors of D'Lo for DeAndre Ayton and Ricky Rubio. And that's kind of like where the Suns have the leverage to get all three of these guys together. It's because they do have the young talent and also pieces out there that other teams would want. I mean, yeah, the Warriors for sure would want DeAndre Ayton out there with Steph Curry and also Klay Thompson. Uh, they also get Ricky Rubio to help kind of bolster up their bench a little bit, man. So I thought it made sense pretty much from all sides right there. The Cat one, like, if you guys have other trade offers, let me know in the comment section below. I thought it was as fair as I was able to make it with salaries being able to match and just getting some pretty good talent out there. So I know none of those guys are Carl Anthony Towns, but you know, that's just how trades are sometimes, man. So I had to do something for this video, right? Okay, so the team... As of right now, well, you, you got D'Lo, you got Devin Booker, and you got Carl Anthony Towns, and, and then you don't got really much going on. You got Nas Reed, he was part, he was kind of a tossing player right there, which he actually would be a pretty solid four on this team. Um, I don't know what he's like defensively, but I know offensively, he's got really good handles, he got a nice jump shot, post moves are there, so uh, he actually could be a nice piece to play with Carl Anthony Towns. His uh, defense, uh, he's got pretty solid interior defense above the position of average, 66 uh, shot block, and his rebounding is like serviceable enough, so that's definitely a player at the age of 22 they would continue to develop. Uh, you got Kayla Bates, Jop, who hasn't really played all that much as far as I know uh, on the team, so yeah, that's the stats looking like that right there, man, so yeah, they got that going for him. Um, but he was just kind of a tossing player. I really don't see him as like the full time starting small forward. You got like Ty Jerome. Uh, this was the draft pick they had. They had Ale right there. So a guy like that would probably be traded. You got Jalen Norwell. Um, so you got a lot of guards on the team. So we definitely have to make some trades to get some of these other guys, players around them. I actually like the idea of Ty Jerome as the backup point guard for this team. So I don't plan on trading him. But I will go ahead and trade away this AO guy right here. And uh, really looking for a starting small forward, man. And uh, Jalen Noel. I mean, 76 overall player, we'll probably keep him around. So, yeah, let's do a trade of AO. Future second round picks, see what that gets us. Looking for a decent starting small forward. Here we get Jared Smith and Matisse Thibault. That's not a bad trade whatsoever, just to, like, get, you know, a deeper team at least. So, we got that one going for us. Uh, Michael Kidd, Gilchrist. But you also get a first round pick. That's not bad. I mean, you know, he could, I mean, he'd probably just start at power forward, too, or put him at small forward. I'm sure his rating probably goes up. Would help this team defensively. Even the three-point shot starting to come together a little bit for him. So that trade's not bad. Uh, Colin Sexton, Dylan Winder. Yeah, I'm not looking to do like a big time trade like that. I'm looking more to do like role player trades. Because like I want to see like how these this big three does together. I'm not really looking to add, to add that another big time piece out there. Rodians. Uh, we got Willie Hernan Gomez. And Vlatko Kankar. Okay. Yeah, not really looking to go for him. 
Mikel Bridges, they would not get him back right away. Amari Spellman, Jordan Poole, not bad. Rui Hachimura. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to do this trade right here of Michael Kidd Gokritz. I know there's better trades available, guys. I do understand that. But like I said, for the sake of trying to keep the big three and then add role players, that's kind of what I'm going for. So putting him at a small forward, uh, he actually stays as a 79 overall. So he's out there pretty much just for like defensive purposes, uh, which is going to help a lot because our front court lacks, really our team in general lacks defense. So he will help them with that. So we got Ty Jerome, Jalen right there. Uh, let's go ahead and trade for a backup big. Uh, Greg Monroe, you're like fine, but yeah, not long term. Jalen Lequay, see what we can get for him. Looking for really a small forward or a center. Uh, Mike Muscala, 76 overall. We got Daniel Gifford right there. Uh, Kevin Porter, Grant Williams, okay. Uh, yeah, I can't pronounce those names at all, man. PJ Washington. So we got like some decent offers. Henry Ellenson, okay, okay. Uh, I'm looking to get like two guys. Now, that's not bad, but they're not positions I need at all. Davis Burton's. Okay, yeah, give me the give me the stretch guy out there. Sure, man, for the power forward spot. And then Greg Monroe can just be backup center. That's fine. That's completely fine. So, uh, oh, they're actually trying to start. They actually want to start Burton's. I actually didn't really think about that. That might actually not be a bad idea for us. 93-point shots. Not much post moves. Uh, what's the, Probably not the greatest defender, I'm going to guess. 58 shot like That's not great. Defense, uh, or, uh, defense rebounding good enough, I suppose. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to continue to go with Nas Reed, though, as the starter. And just use this guy's scoring off the bench. So, we're going to switch those guys up. It just kind of seems like the right move for us. Now, in, like, the long-term of things, if we start doing bad, then, yeah, I might switch it up. But let's go ahead and give some minutes here to... Yeah, where did Greg... Did I trade with Greg Monroe? I could have swore I had Greg Monroe on this team, man. Wow, I'm losing my mind. Did I not have Greg Monroe on this team at all? Okay. Let's go to free agency. See what we got here. Maybe one of these guys can come to the team and save the day. Like, I would love to get Alex Len back on the Phoenix Suns. Yeah, he's not coming for that. That's not going to happen. Uh, what other prices have we got out there? So, he wants about $8 million, so that's a little bit too much. We're calling Holmes. Uh, we got Boban for $2 million. I would definitely take him for that. There we go. Toss Boban the offer. He always does pretty solid in this game. I actually also saw, um, I believe, Roberson listed. Which would just give us another good defensive player to have. Although, okay, it looks like his range. Oh, no, he's probably listed as a shooting guard, right? Uh, how much did he want? Luke Kennard, a free agent? Damn, bro. <laughs> that would have been nice. That would have been too nice. And he's probably not going to sign for that. Okay, yeah, he declined that offer. Uh, fair enough. Definitely fair enough. Okay. Now let's get this rotation all set. Boban, Nas... All right, now that now that we have not, or now that we have Boban, a bigger guy um, for the backup center spot, I kind of want like a power four that can play alongside him a bit better. So I think we'll, we'll go with Nas Reed off the bench. We might as well go with our best starters, you know, even if it's not always like the most pristine of choices out there. But it really is only the first season. So after this year, we'll have a good chance to go and just like build the team in a better direction that we want to go with. Um, can we still, like, like, like we still got these guys out there, man? We still got our big three. So. It's not like we're going to be a bad team. We might even win the championship in the first season. We have a three-and-a-half star balance system with Coach, Coach Monte Williams. Uh, I'm going to see what other coaches are available. Let's go ahead and fire him real quick, man, just because, like, we got better options out there. Uh, Trent Pedersen, anybody else? Uh, we got Dion Blount. Yeah, I'm going to go with him. Uh, James Borrego, yeah, that's not it, man. That's not it. Um, yo, what was this dude? Yeah, uh, Blount. Yeah, give me Blount, man. Okay, we got him as our coach for four years. Let's go ahead, guys. Simulate this first NBA season. See just how good this new super team, Phoenix Suns team, can really do. Okay, guys. So a record of 44 and 37. Not gonna lie, that is that's not a good record. That for, for like these, like this big three, like these three guys playing together, that is atrocious. That is oh, I was expecting I was expecting at least 50 wins, man, but chemistry uh which we don't got chemistry on this game turned on so it can't be that i don't know man i don't know maybe it's just cat and devin booker can't win basketball games i don't know you might i did not say d -Lo, you know because d was really solid for the brooklyn nets but uh, i don't know what it is man <laughs> you know maybe these guys should all just go to the eastern conference that's an idea right there just like get out of like the hellhole that's the western conference and you'll be good to go. Now, we are in the playoffs. We are the seventh seed. That's not great. Um, I do plan on doing some gameplay. I don't think it's going to be this playoffs. I think it will be next playoffs, assuming we make it at least. So, yeah, I think this season we'll probably have to see what happens. So, we do got Devin Booker, 27.6 assists. D'Lo, 24 and 8. And then we got Cat at about 24 and 12. So, all those guys did nice. It was the rest. I mean, well, even like the filler players. They were fine. I mean, all the shots are going to be going through these guys. 
So I, I don't really know what it is. I guess we will check out our defense. Um, I'm going to guess our defense probably was not good. So points per game wise. Uh, e wow. Look at this, guys. We got. Oh, wow. How we got so many teams averaging over 120 points per game? Oh, my God. Did they like increase the quarter length or something? That's insane. And then points allowed. Uh, points allowed. We gave up. We were, I mean, we, we were mediocre, 50, you know, the middle of the NBA there. So I, I don't really know, guys. I don't really have a good answer to this. Uh, yo, let me go to simulate with Simcast real quick. Y'all probably got, what, 20 minute quarter? There's still 12 minute quarters. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Simulate round right here. That's crazy, man. Uh, maybe it's a smaller shot clock. I guess I'm not really sure. But, uh, okay, we actually doing pretty solid here against Houston Rockets. We might be able to upset them. Yes, we do. Four games to two. There we go, man. 38 points for Carl Anthony Towns. 30 for D-Book. 16 for D-Lo. Uh, let's see how Golden State's doing over here with DeAndre. He just dropped 28 and 24 games. So, guys, be honest. Would you, if you are a Suns fan, would you actually want to trade Aiton away? Or, like, would you just be good with getting D-Lo and having D-Lo, Devin Booker, Aiton, and then just going out there and being able to keep your talent without having to trade for Carl Anthony Towns? I think it's kind of an interesting discussion to have. Um, all right, and as you can see, the Timberwolves are not in the playoffs. Simulate around here against the Golden State Warriors. See how this goes. Looking pretty good, man. Three games to one. Okay, four games to one. All right. 28-18 uh, for Aiton. 32 for D-Lo. 26-11 for Carl Anthony Towns. Let's go uh, game by game with this one, man. Simulate. No, not round. I literally said game by game. Can, can you not do that anymore? Is that is that not an option? Bro, you literally can't just simulate one game at a time? All right, that's weird. You used to be able to do it, like, quickly. I don't know, man. Um, here we go, though. See how this goes. Maybe that's why I haven't been doing as much gameplay this year. First game's not going... Oh, it, it did go well. Oh, it went very well. All right, 34 for Devin Booker. We were losing there for a second, man. Uh, I thought I saw something about... Yeah, Ty Jerome, career high in assists at 11. Nice. 25 for LeBron. They also got Dennis Schroeder. They got Bradley Beal now, too. Okay, that could definitely happen in real life. Uh, simulate... With Simcast... That's so stupid you can't just, like, do one game. Like, you got to do some guys for every single one. All right, now this one looks like it's not going well for us. This one we're probably not going to win. And uh, 130 to 120. I mean, it wasn't a blowout. It definitely wasn't a blowout. So, that's good at least. Okay, uh, simulate with Simcast right here. Come on, Phoenix. Let's bounce back. Let's get that 2-1 lead on him, and you all can do it. And so far, so good. Looks like we are going to win. Yes, we do 122 to 105. There we go. All right, uh, simulate with simcast now this one if it's close in the fourth i might actually jump into it and try to secure the win i might try to secure the win uh i mean it's kind of close no it's not close enough it's not close enough okay yeah we're not gonna waste the uh the simulation on that one all right tied series might be a must win simulate with simcast here we go looks like philadelphia was in the finals looks like the lakers might get this w here man uh so we're probably saving for the next season the the uh the, the jump in the jump again while we got blown out 135 to 112 and yep yeah, okay three two simulate with simcast let's get him man come on come on Phoenix. you all can do this guys okay it's looking good looks like there is going to potentially be a game seven and yes there is 148 to 136 here we go game seven game seven men to get to the nba finals it's looking pretty decent for us out there pretty decent no maybe not maybe not okay 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 and 47 seconds left tied game <laughs> Do I... i'm doing it man i'm jumping in man. i'm doing it man. i gotta get us to the nba finals or just blow it all okay here we go man we are in our 20 second timeout i'm gonna go with the starters out there um yeah i mean everybody's tired but we gotta take smart shots we gotta get all of our players out there just how it has to be player of the game devin booker as of right now yes looking good in that phoenix suns jersey oh wait yeah we, we already know what he looks like in the jersey show us somebody else oh oh that went too quick oh my god 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 okay here we go here we go here we go Kevin, come on devin here we go devin oh jesus oh fuck man okay 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 play defense play defense Hell no. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Come on, baby. That freaking 2K cheese double team, man. What the fuck? What just happened? What just happened? 
What is this 2K cheese bullshit? Where's the fucking ball at? Does your fat ass not know how to dribble me, thick boy? Okay, who has the ball? I can't even see. Okay, okay, okay. D Lo. Yup, D Lo with the ball. I see that. Okay, yup, yup. Okay, okay. Yup. What the fuck? Oh my god. This really this this really the shit Phoenix gotta deal with this really the shit that's We officially been eliminated guys. I I can't I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. That is that is the <sighs> Moving on man moving on Wow all right, I'm pissed. I'm so pissed right now. Uh, I'm going to go straight to rookie signings. So I don't think we have any draft picks. I think Minnesota has all of them for like the next billion years. At least they might after that trade. Uh, yeah, we got Isaac Okoro. Yeah, you're not going to save your of this team, man. Okay, team player options. Ty Jerome, we are going to accept. Jalen, accept. Why would we not accept those two, okay? Those are both fantastic deals. Okay, qualifying offers. Bring both those guys back. At least trade pieces, if anything. All righty. So we don't really have a ton of money here. Ooh, Cam Reddish on the low low. Ooh. Who's this? Emil Jefferson. Bro, please believe I'm throwing Cam Reddish a contract. Okay, okay. We we offered it to him. Alright. Uh, what about this Melly guy right here? We got Cam Johnson. We could try to get him back too if we want. Oh yeah, Nas Reed for sure I want to get back. If possible. If possible. Okay, uh Cam Reddish. I'm going to hold off on Nas. Oh, yeah. Okay, so to get Cam Reddish, we do have to announce rights on Nas Reed or we're not going to be able to afford him. Okay, yeah, that is that is worth it, man. That is worth it, I will say. It is giving up a quite a bit of depth, but I think we can fill out the team just fine. And, uh, yeah, that's like a big-time pickup for this team. So, Cam Reddish, let's make sure we get him. It's just going to be for one season, it looks like. And hopefully 2K doesn't screw us over. And I think Cam Reddish is officially a member of the Phoenix Suns. Yes, he is. Okay, that's a great small forward to get. Um, alrighty. Well, we need like a power force still in positions like that. Okay, so uh, Melly, I'm gonna throw him a contract. That's actually a really cheap deal right there. Uh, we got Juan Hernan Gomez. He's like, oh no, no, let me get uh, let me get uh, Giannis's brother. Here we go, here we go. That could be an interesting pickup. Goran Dragic, we don't really need him at all. Come on, here we go, here we go. Come on, guys, let's sign up. All right, so we got Thanos, 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 as I like to call him. Good signing. I still want to get this uh, this Nicolo uh, guy right here, man. I mean, just a stretch big once again. Pretty much will be what Davis Burton's was for us last year. So we got him signed up. All right. Get us some nice pieces. Now, I think we're pretty good at the shooting guard spot. Malcolm Miller. Uh, let's go with a backup center. Uh, give me like Daniel Tice. Sure, why not? Got him signed up for a nice contract. His rating actually goes up at the small forward spot. So, uh, yeah, somebody else is available. I might get like another backup center and just kind of mix it up with that. Aaron Baines, a bit too old. Uh, give me Frank Kaminsky, I suppose. I mean, I'm sure Phoenix Suns fans are not, like, hyped about him. But, you know, it's whatever. He knows the system, at least. He knows the system. Okay, so we got him signed up. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and simulate two. Come on. I'm going to go ahead and simulate two at the beginning of the regular season. Okay, guys, so here is the starting five going into the second and final season. We got... D Lo and Devin Booker, of course. We got Cam Reddish starting at small four. Now was an 84 overall. I can't believe, man, this got to be the, the uh, youngest ring chaser in NBA history signing up for that $5 million contract. Uh, Tice is actually going to start at the four spot just because, you know, being a 6 a nice stretch big out there. But also, he's got pretty damn solid defense out there, too, guys. So he should be a little bit better than what Melly could give us defensively, at least. We got Cat at center, bench unit looking like that. Definitely nice out there, man. Thanos, uh, he's only he's only six seven, bro. You, you gotta get Giannis's height out there, man. You'll dominate just like him. But yes, um, as far as this season goes, I'm not touching no play now, man. After that bullshit, two uh, bullshit turnovers like that. First one probably my fault. Second one bounced off the dude's head. Uh, I can my stress levels can't take it. So let's go ahead and simulate the second and final season and see just how good this super team is. It's a super team. It's gotta be a super team. The super team Phoenix Suns team can do. Okay, so a record of 56 and 25. That's what I'm talking about. I know you guys are capable of that. Getting Cam Reddish helps a lot too, man. I, I still think that was a steal. Uh, we take an L against the Utah Jazz. So here's all the awards. 
Why is Kemba a six man? And why is he on the Houston? I guess I know he's only 32. 2K is on some bullshit sometimes, guys. Giannis on the Clippers. I got to deal with this now, too. Oh, my jeez, man. <laughs> this rebuild is out to get me. They're out to get me. Oh my, yo, I got to see what... Leonard on Pacers now, apparently. Bro, the NBA is just completely different. Paul George on the Bulls. Okay, well, that Clippers team did not last very long now, did they, guys? We are the first seed, at least. And the Clippers are actually the seventh seed with Giannis, surprisingly enough. Uh, let's go to the player stats on the season. So, Booker, 30.7 assists. D'Lo, 25 and 10. Uh, Conley Towns, nice numbers. Cameron at 19. Still can't believe we only got him for six million dollars. I still can't believe it. Bench unit did good. We have we have the better Atanakumpo out there, Thanos. We'll snap you out of existence if he wants to. Aiden dropping 23 and 15. So like I said, man, might better you better off just to keep him out there. And then the uh, Timberwolves, yeah, they got they got stuff going on. They got they got stuff going on. The Jared Coffer's playing really nice. Uh, but they did not make the playoffs. So first round, we got the Pelicans. Simulate round right here. See how this goes. Come on, guys. Let's uh, win these finals. Let's not bounce the ball off of anybody's face. Big ass heads out there. Which I'm not one to talk. I got a very large head, man. Um, well, we get them four games. 137 for Book. 15 assists. We got 31 and 16 for Cat. How old is Cat now in this game? He'd be uh, only 27. D'Lo 27, Devin Booker 26. They could literally be at, on like a no, like the team together for like another like six years. All right, simulate round here against the Portland Trail Blazers. Now, oh man. <laughs> I had to be, I had to be quiet, man. <laughs> I had to be mad quiet right there. Okay, we got the Clippers. Oh God. Giannis, this man's only 28, man. He's only 28. Here we go. And that's all we got his brother to give us all the dark secrets out there. Simulate round, man. Here we go. Oh, come on, guys. I got the go. Oh, hey, we're in the NBA Finals. All right. Against Kawhi Leonard. Devin Booker dropping a 50-piece real quick. D'Lo kind of chucking, but, you know, 8 for 23. It's whatever, man. Okay. See what this 8-seed Pacers team is looking like. They, they got Kawhi Leonard. No more Oladipo either. Uh, simulate round. Come on, guys. Let's get it, man. And there we go. We are NBA champions. Four games to one. Devin Booker, your finals MVP. Guys, he deserves it, man. He would deserve it. You know, staying with the franchise for that long and recruiting these guys like that, man. 33 points, seven assists per game. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video, man. If you all could do me that quick favor and please drop a like on it. Would be greatly appreciated. As always, check out that second channel, Extra Crispy, for daily NBA content over there. And peace out.